Hey guys, this is Liz Canada from Sleek Lens. Today I have a short tutorial on the brick and mortar workflow. I'm going to be showing you guys the cinematic presets that come with this workflow or the film look presets and how you can apply them to your architecture photography and basically what they do and how to use them with other presets as well. So I have this really nice picture from Edinburgh, Scotland and I'm going to start with this. And the first thing I'm going to do is I've already got my brick and mortar cinematic presets pulled up. So I'm going to go for film look number six for this one. So as you can see, I've applied that to the photograph and we now have a black bar on the top and bottom of the photograph. So that's called letterboxing. The reason that pops up is because film or television nowadays is normally filmed in a 16-9 format where um, your photographs have a different ratio. So that's why you get that letterbox effects, but the reason you have that is because that's adding to the cinematic effect because normally in the cinema you'd have a letterbox effect as well. So if you don't like that, don't use these presets. If you do like it, that's exactly what it's there for. So I'm going to show you guys um, basically when you apply these presets that you can still stack other presets on top of them and use brushes without interfering uh, with the letterboxing. So for this one, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open a brush. So I've got my brick and mortar brushes here. I'm going to my exposure brush, the brighter shadows. So I'm going to make my brush just a little bit bigger. And I'm just going to show you guys that if I run this brush all in this area, even though I'm running over the letterboxing here, it's not at all interfering with the letterbox. So when I put my cursor over here, the red does show that you know it's going into the black, but it's really not. I can zoom in and try and show you as well. All right, so go up here. So I can run the brush and nothing is happening up here. So that just means that you can freely use your brushes without worrying about ruining the black box or at the bottom or top. All right, I'm gonna move on to another photograph now. So for this one, I'm going to be using the Film Look 7. And as I mentioned, the presets are stackable, so you can stack presets on top of this once you've applied this cinematic look. So I applied this one that I like, but it's slightly a little bit too dark, so I can go down into my exposure and I can hit Brighten Shadows. And I can also hit HDR-like exposure. And all it does is apply them right on top of each other, but it doesn't affect the black boxes either. So. so if this is the kind of look you are going for, then these presets are really great. And it's nice that you can work with the brushes and the presets on top of them without affecting the letterboxing. So I hope you guys like this really short tutorial and you'll be able to try it out for yourself.